As we all know, Fred Warner is absolutely playing out of his mind. He's even playing at a defensive player of the year caliber through the first two weeks of the season. And we've seen him creating force fumble after force fumble, doing all these different types of things, flying all over the field. But we got a little bit of insight into one of these plays. It was that force fumble that he created uh, on Aaron Jones that looked like it was going to be a touchdown and turn that game against the Minnesota Vikings into a blowout, but rather got the got the ball back to the offense. They drove down and score, and it made it a game. Now, obviously, the 49ers didn't come out on top, but this is some fascinating insight into what actually happened on that play. And believe it or not, shout out to Trent Sherfield, Vikings wide receiver, former 49ers wide receiver, because if it wasn't for him, I don't know if Fred Warner makes this force fumble. Take a listen to Fred as he hops on uh, Goat Farm Media and discusses uh, how this little tip actually put him in a position to make this epic force fumble. Take a listen right here. Uh, the force fumble. Uh, late in the game, things aren't going our way. I think it was 20 to 7 at that point. We're down two scores. They're driving on us. And you know, one more score and it's looking like a blowout. 27 to seven would have been ugly, you know, and they, they have the perfect play call on. They dial up a screen to the running back, Aaron Jones, right? Perfect play. And we have a, we have a blitz on, we missed the, we missed the, the halfback screen and they got, he, he, Aaron Jones got escorts to the end zone, right? He got a big body. He made a good move on, on our rookie Malik out of the post. And I'm covering somebody way down the field it was actually a buddy of mine, Trent Sherfield. I'm covering him and he's like, yeah, run with me, Fred. And I'm like, what? And then I realized he's trying to get me out of the play, just run me out of there. And so I whip my head around so then I can go try to find the ball. And, you know, at this point, it's just kind of muscle memory when I, I somebody got the ball in their right hand and I'm coming left to right. I'm looking to try to punch that thing out, you know, and especially in that moment, uh, to be able to get that out against a great running back who is not a fumbler by any means. I mean, I don't know how many times he's fumbled in his career, not many, but to make that play again for my team, unfortunately, it, was, it didn't it didn't result in a touchback. I wish that ball would have landed in the end in the end zone when uh, my my dog I landed on it. But uh, you know, for our offense to take that ball and go and go take it all the way down the field for a touchdown and give us a chance to go out there on defense and, and get the ball back for him again to win the game. It was a surreal moment, man. It was it was, uh, it was one of those games I'll remember forever. Win or loss, you know, you, you remember those moments and you carry those with you um, forever. I mean, for sure the rest of the season. Things to, things to learn and things to grow upon at the end of the day. That's what this game's about. You just got to fix the mistakes. Clean up the mistakes. You know, we're too talented. We got too many too many good players you know and we play the right way so it's about just getting back on track man always love hearing these insights and kind of the game within the game because obviously fred is focused on covering trent sherfield as you know trent sherfield was a 49er for a couple years and so he's like one of the things that you know wide receivers are going to do with guys in coverage is sometimes they're just trying to run the defender out of the route you can block a guy or you can run your route and you can try to get the defender to pull and follow you and effectively pull himself out of the play right so with this situation Trent Sherfield's like come on Fred let's go run with me and obviously he's like well I know what that means that means that you're trying to run, you're trying to do something. And so it keyed and clued him in that, okay, there's something else going on here. And as a result of that, he peels off of that and delivers that crushing blow on Aaron Jones, knocking the ball free right at the one yard line. And the 49ers go on a long drive and they score. Obviously, it didn't matter in the end because the 49ers didn't win. But it dramatically changed how bad that game could have looked in the end. So watching uh, that little clip of Fred Warner kind of talk about, you know, the intricacies of how a play comes together, it's it's wild. Like, does Fred Warner make that play if Trent Sherfield doesn't say anything? 
because <laughs> Trent Trent saying that is what triggered Fred to be like, alert, alert. <laughs> You're not running an actual route. You're just trying to clear me out. And uh, as a result of that, he had the wherewithal to make a snap judgment very quickly and go make a play on the ball. And it is, is a phenomenal one. So I'm always a big fan of listening to these stories, uh, especially in the middle of the action, in the middle of the battle and being able to understand how these guys make the decisions that they make and how they put themselves in a position to make plays. And hey, sometimes sometimes it's someone on the other team who uh, clues you in on to what's actually going on. So again, I uh, just really loved that story. I, I think um, it's always refreshing to hear how these things come about. And uh, I really liked it. I want to know what you guys think about that. Do you think Trent Sherfield is going to keep his mouth closed next time? <laughs> now, obviously, he's going up against a former teammate. So I'm sure that he doesn't do that to everyone. I'm sure he's not running with some random defender being like, yeah, come on, keep going with me. You know, obviously, he knows Fred has a relationship with Fred. And so that obviously came out on the field. Um, but again, it just shows uh, how crazy of, you know, thin the margins are, how how quickly um, these little things can contribute to the San Francisco, you know, 49ers making plays or not making plays because if Fred Warner doesn't isn't there to make that play. That's a touchdown. And like Fred said, it, it looks like a blowout as a result. And um, it, it's not. And it actually gave the 49ers a chance to come back and try to win that game, uh, try to make it competitive uh, when it was just not going in their direction. So. Uh, we need more. We need more offensive players like Trent Sherfield to uh, continue to, to to clue in and key in our defensive players of what's happening in and on an individual play. So I like that. Uh, shout out to Trent Sherfield. <laughs> Do that more often, Trent. Can we can we play you more often? No, but in all seriousness, uh, great story. Um, love the insight. What did you guys think about that? Uh, uh, do you find these stories entertaining when when you when you are able to realize that just those little things make a huge difference in the outcomes of games? And, you know, do you, could you imagine how Trent Sherfield would feel if the 49ers ended up winning that game because of the tip that he gave to Fred Warner? <laughs> he probably would have feel too good. But uh, again, I love it. Let me know what you guys think about it. I want to hear your thoughts. And is Fred Warner the defensive player of the year right now? He might be one of the best players in the entire league, if not the best player. He is playing out of his mind right now. Let me know your thoughts on Freddie, how he's playing in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.